Here's Dimer's Coventry Calamity, again, entirely self-inflicted. This guy just cannot help himself when it comes to pissing people off. In two years, he's driven hundreds of thousands of active members away, seen a founding trade union disaffiliate, which may yet be followed by another, seen funding withdrawn from other unions and potentially the loss of all funding from Unite and GMB. The party verges on bankruptcy as he's blown millions on payoffs and stupidly trying to get a leaked report purged from the internet, as well as further damage from a massive data breach, losing the party even the knowledge of how many members they actually have. Then there's all the racism allegations against the right going unpunished and the attorney buried Ford report. I could go on. The list is as incredible as it is depressing. But quite simply, Keir Starmer is in no position to laugh at people taking industrial action or the fact they happen to be in Coventry and not within your comfort zone of the M25. Labour is supposed to be the party of the workers, but Starmer is more devoted to their bosses. The reason Labour are under threat of losing a million pounds in funding from Unite is because they're taking industrial action against Coventry Council, a Labour council over bin workers pay, whilst Unite fights for its members there, Starmer trash talks them. His message to the union is that Labour is under new management and they should know their place. I think they do know their place, Keith, as donors of your party. Donations which go to your party to stand up for workers, and here you are fighting one of your own donors. It's clear beyond a shadow of a doubt that Starmer and his Blairite handlers do not value the unions and do not want them. They do want the money, though, and as such are desperate for private donors. They'd rather become Tories themselves and do the bidding of the wealthy than the bidding of those that fund them now. Trade unions set up by workers for workers as the Labour Party itself was. Under Starmer, it no longer is. If Keith is determined to treat unions, their members, workers, Coventry, he's in Burnley today. He might have upset them as well by tonight. With such arrogant disdain, he does not deserve your vote or your support and Labour risk complete collapse if something isn't done to remove this political pygmy soon. On the funding, I don't think a, an industrial dispute in Coventry should influence relations between the Labour Party and its trade unions.